Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from the diner. To schedule your Christmas party or order your desserts, call the diner now at 423-566-4708. The diner will be accepting donations or toys for those in need, and you can volunteer to help serve them a nice Christmas dinner Christmas Eve from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Call the diner at 423-566-4708 for more details. That's the diner, 2303 Jacksboro Park. The Cougars played the Dragons of Clinton Monday night at John R. W. Brown Gymnasium, the second time we played the Dragons this year. If you recall, we beat them down there by one point, 44 to 43. We took 23s in this game. We only converted four of them. We didn't get a foul shot until early in the second half and got to the foul line only twice in this game. So needless to say, we lost 52 to 44. But it wasn't like either team was burning the nets up, but we seemed to have beat ourselves. Now the Lady Cougars lost 62 to 55, but our JV girls, they won 44 to 36. Now turning our attention to Tuesday night, they played at South Doyle. They went down there to play the Cherokees at their place and we took a sweep. We cleaned up down there as our JV boys won 71 to 67. Our Lady Cougars won 51 to 42, and our boys bounced back, winning 55 to 49. We were down at halftime, 22 to 14, but hung around and got the lead and never let it go. Coming up big for the Cougars was Gunner St. John, who led the Cougars with 20 points. Right behind him was Corey Bote, who scored 15. Corey got going early and had a good game the rest of the way. Now up next is the Christmas tournament for the Lady Cougars who will play in the Winterfest shootout at Sevier County Middle School next Thursday night. Now that will be radio only as there won't be any video stream of these holiday tournaments. So just log on and listen in as they say. When you call for just any ambulance service, you never know what you might get. But when you call Vinyl Care at 423-562-9370, you'll get an experienced staff, experienced and professional people who know what the word emergency really means. Don't just trust anyone. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. 562-9370. Thanks for watching my on WLAS. Turning our attention to middle school action, the Owls and the Lady Owls beat a very tough opponent Monday night in the Hawks of Clinton. Clinton's supposed to have a very good basketball team. The Lady Owls won 44-29 and the boys won 44-35 coming off their win in the county tournament. They won a game that many people thought they might not win. They're getting better. They're playing better, led by Peyton Webb and company. They're making a mad dash for the district tournament. Now they will take a break, and I mean a long break, as they won't play again until January the 3rd, when they will play at Oneida, another tough opponent. They got some big old boys up there. Now the Eagles travel to Clinton Thursday to play. They have played them already and not fared so well. Let's see if Cody Parker's boys can come out of there with a win. As I said, this Clinton team, pretty tough. The Jellicoe Middle School Blue Devils keep on rolling. They had a big test Monday night playing White Oak and having to deal with Mr. Ernie DeTore and company. But the game was a complete and, I mean, an utter blowout as the Blue Devils won again over the Wildcats. Huge to the tune of 65-35. to The Wildcats never could get going against the Blue Devils press, steal the ball, and make easy layups, and that's what they did all night long. Lady Blue Devils won as well over the Lady Wildcats, only in a closer game, 34 to 26. The Campbell County Youth Basketball League is having a Christmas tournament this weekend, and we'll let you know more about that on the next Sports Report. And you know, any news that you want to find, you can, if you can't find it on 1450WLAF.com, then you can go to CougarsRock.net and read all about it. Okay, that's a real quick look at today's sports. I want to remind you to follow the Cougars and the Blue Devils right here on the WLF Sports Network at 1450WLF.com. Hey, log on there every day and check out the news. Also, check out the sports. As anything going on in Campbell County, we have it right there on 1450WLF.com. Hey, stay tuned. There's a lot more to come right here on WLAF. <laughs>